Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel for another tutorial. Today is a little bit different. So lately I've been getting so many questions about how I varnish or seal my paintings. And the second question is how do I finish the sides of my paintings? So I thought I would take the time and make a video today on exactly how I do that. So I've got a few different canvases here, paintings that I've chosen. I want to mention I have tutorials for all three of these in case you guys are curious about wanting to learn how to paint these and then varnish them yourselves. So I'll just go over a few of them right now. I've got this little one here. This is a really pretty one. And I think that once I add the varnish to this, it's just going to come to life. You guys are going to see how satisfying and fun it is uh, to apply this stuff. And I've also got this one here. You may have seen this one already. It's pretty new, fairly new here on my channel. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, um, I'm filming this uh, March. When is the date today? I've lost track of time. <laughs> time flies when you're painting. And uh, anyways, I think it's March 22nd today, 2023. So I've got an iridescent dragonfly. I'll show you how I draw and paint this uh, one step at a time. Super easy for beginners. I really break it down, take my time to show you guys all so you can also paint this. We've got a lot of dragonfly lovers out there. Um, and of course the pretty hydrangea here, one of my favorite flowers. Fingers crossed I get some in my garden this year. <laughs> and here's my third one that I'm going to be showing you guys how to varnish um, as well. So this is my newest one. It's up on Patreon right now. Shout out to all you Patreon members. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all of your support. It's because of you that I'm able to keep doing this every day and share more and more of my uh, paintings, tips and tricks. Uh, and techniques that I've taught myself over the past 25 plus years. I'm getting old. <laughs> I am a grandma now too. <laughs> um, so this is my Monarch Queen Butterfly Lady. I want to just go over a couple of the things that you're going to need today for um, how to varnish or seal um, your paintings. What I'm using today is Gambar Gloss Varnish. So you can apply this over any acrylic or oil painting. You're also going to need a paintbrush. I have just a flat filbert one that I use and you're also going to need a towel. Now I'll go over how to clean your brushes out properly after this video. There are a few tips for doing this. Um, be sure to leave yours below in the comment section. I'm using a natural one that works best for me. I don't like using harsh chemicals if I don't have to. Um, so I'll have kind of a little recipe for that at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. And let's go ahead and get started. Come over with me to my uh, work table over here. All right, everybody. So we're ready to go ahead and get started. There's just a few things that I forgot to mention before we start sealing. There are a few options for finishing the sides of your paintings. Uh, one is using just black and I like to use thin paint rather than the heavy body paint I normally um, use to paint my actual paintings with. It's a lot easier and less expensive and it works really well for coverage. I've got black. 99% uh, of the time I choose black for finishing the edges of my paintings. I think that it finishes it off really nice. Black is a great accent for all the color. It kind of looks like a little frame. Uh, another option I like because I do a lot of uh, gray scale and gray paintings and um, it's a nice soft match anything in your home color, just a soft gray. Again, it doesn't matter what brand you use. These are just the ones I use, um, but you can use any brand that you want or that you have in your local art stores. The third option is if you have a deep canvas or even a thinner canvas, you can carry the painting around all the edges. So you can continue it, right? If you have a blue sky at the top, continue it there. A little bit of, in this case, I've got some uh, trees back in the distance here and some sky. And it's a, a deep canvas. It's about one, one and a half, probably an inch uh, in depth. And from all angles, it looks really pretty. And then I just did a really dark green on the bottom so that it looks like shadows. Uh, another shadow to go along with this bottom area strip across here. And then, of course, on this other side. So whenever I've had really deep canvases like this, I personally continue the scene, whatever I'm painting around the edges. I think that it looks really, really pretty and three-dimensional. Um, leave a comment below if you guys have any other suggestions for others reading this and watching this. Um, uh, this is just personally what I do, and I'm answering your questions today, my most common questions that I get asked. 
how to varnish and how to uh, finish the edges of my paintings. Um, so I do have another video or two on just really, really quick, couple minutes long only, how I varnish and seal my paintings. But this one is my latest favorite. Of course, it is again, Gamblin Gamvar Gloss. I love shiny. Um, keep in mind, if you're, if you haven't taken a picture of your paintings yet, do that before you add the varnish, okay? No matter what, even if you're just using a matte or a semi-gloss, it's still gonna cause a uh, glare when you take a photo. So make sure, <laughs> listen to me carefully, because I've done this to myself in the past and I've uh, really kicked myself for this and regretted it. It's really, really tough, especially if you're gonna advertise your paintings online or make a portfolio um, to uh, sell your work or, or show it or whatever. Take a photo before you add any sealer varnish to it, okay? <laughs> Don't make the same mistake I have and many others out there. Okay, and I think I went over a couple other things you're gonna need. A brush, I'm just using one of my larger filbert brushes here. You're gonna need a towel. Um, if you want, you can wear gloves. Uh, I've been doing this a really long time, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty careful and confident while I'm doing it. Now that I'm saying that, I'll probably get it all over myself. <laughs> Okay, everyone, I think we're ready to go ahead and begin painting the sides of the canvas. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Um, I'm gonna use black for one and I'm gonna use the gray for the other one. I'm gonna choose a different brush. I'm gonna save this one just for applying my gloss. Okay, so I'm gonna paint the sides of this one here first, the butterfly, and I'm gonna add some black paint. And I've chosen this small flat brush to paint the edges with. I'm gonna pour a little bit of the paint in this little plate here. Maybe I'll just add a little bit more. So I'll just take a little bit of paint, load up both sides of my brush, and I'm gonna carefully come across the edge. And just simply turn it over. Now I do find um, a flat brush is the easiest and safest. If you end up using a smaller brush, a round brush, or even a filbert, sometimes you can get away if you're really, really careful with using a filbert brush but sometimes it can go over the edge and onto your painting. So I already have like a really dark, dark base here around some of the sides of my painting, um, but it's not black. So that's why I'm going over this and you can see the difference. It's much darker, especially once it dries. And then the last edge right here. And then you're just gonna want to, and I'll set this down as it dries, I'll move on to my next one. I'm gonna use black for this little one here. Now, if you plan on framing your paintings, then you really don't need to do this step. But I really like, personally, the way they look unframed. I think they look like they're just free floating on the wall and having the sides painted kind of looks like a a frame on them. Well, certain kind of frame. There's different frame options out there. And framing is so expensive unless you know somebody who can custom make one for you. It's very, very expensive. So I don't think it's necessary. I think this is a, a nice way of dressing up uh, a painting from all sides and displaying it. Okay, so now I'm going to um, shake this bottle up. This is my gray and I'm going to be applying gray 
to my dragonfly here. So again, make sure the lid is on tight because I had a little <laughs> whoops <laughs> earlier with my black. I may or may not decide to add that in here as a little blooper for you guys to see to let you know that I'm like everybody else and sometimes stuff happens. So make sure that lid is on tight. Give it a little shake. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of gray paint in here. A little bit like that. If you guys hear a little bit of sniffing, it's my dog Tilly. I've got to clean it off my little flat brush. And I thought a soft gray would look nice on this one, but you could do a combination of pastel colors, like what we have in the wings of this butterfly or the hydrangea. Really, any pastel color you want, or all of them, would look quite pretty. Anything, any kind of gray, you know, like charcoal or any shade of gray and black will always look good. Black never goes out of style and any color looks good with it. Same with gray. Or like I showed you with this one here, if you have a deep canvas such as this, Painting, continuing the painting or scene around all the edges is really, really nice as well. Okay, while those are drying, I'm just going to have a little cup of tea and sit on the couch and chat with you guys about a few other things you've been asking about. So come and join me over here. Lily, up, up. Come on. So I thought I would just come in and chat with you guys a little bit and go over some tutorials coming up, what's new, um, what to stay tuned for. I've always got something fresh and new around the corner, so make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and you tap the bell. There's a little bell right there, notification bell, and you won't miss out on anything that's coming up. So I've got a tutorial coming up very soon, strictly on how to paint hair and fur, different types of fur, colors, brushes, and some simple, simple tips and tricks and techniques for you guys. So you're going to love that one. You're going to learn so much. And I've also got my own line of brushes coming out. I've got a set of paint brushes coming out very, very soon. Um, we'll be launching them, Craftable Company and myself, here on my channel, a live launch, which I've never done before, uh, the first week of May 2023. The actual date is uh, yet to be set, but stay tuned coming up for that. They're going to be for sale worldwide. There's a limited amount. So it's a, a very, very special and exciting time for me to have my own product out there. And they're great brushes because I've had the prototypes now for months and I've been using them. I designed them, the colors, uh, the bristles, everything. They're vegan and uh, no animals were harmed in the making of these. And that's an important thing for me. Right, Tilly? I think that we're ready to go ahead and check those paintings out and apply the sealer varnish. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, everyone, we're gonna start off by adding the sealer gloss to this little one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna pour a few drops. And then I'm gonna start working my way out to each corner. But see the color difference? It just really brings the painting back to life like when you first applied the paint and it was still wet. That's why I love this product and adding this. Now you don't need a lot of product for coverage, so don't overdo it. It is really pricey, but it's a great investment. Okay. So there's the first one. Check and make sure you didn't miss any spots. If you have, you can come back after and apply a second coat. A second coat's not a bad idea. However, you wanna try to get it done in one shot because it is expensive. Okay, I'm gonna set this one off to the side, 
bring in my next one here, Heron. Okay, so the same thing. I'm just gonna need a little bit more product. You wanna make sure that you're applying it evenly and you're not brushing over in the same spot too many times. It disrupts um, the finished effect to it so it won't be as shiny. And don't worry about the air bubbles. If you notice any little air bubbles, those will disappear and just pop naturally on their own. And here we have our butterfly. We'll go ahead and add some more. I'm gonna use a little bit less this time because I've got quite a bit in my brush. See the, the difference? Look at the beautiful color that comes out. And all of my paintings are for sale. If anybody's interested in how you can own one of my original paintings, you can find them on my Facebook page, Joni Young Art, as well as Instagram. Just send me a little message. And Dragonfly. It's, I'm really curious to see how this one is with the gloss. I think it just gives it even more depth. So once it dries, it's not gonna be as shiny as it is now. It'll just be the right amount of gloss. You can get um, even higher gloss if you want. And of course you can get matte or semi-gloss or satin finish. There's lots of options out there. And my final piece is this one here. And I think the color is just going to pop when I add some of this. So let's go ahead and add just a few little drops here. This is really, really fun and kind of addicting. It makes me want to go through all my paintings on the wall. So, oh yeah, I'm really, really happy with the outcome of this one. It just richens the colors up even more and it looks like it did when I first painted it and I love this product. Now before it can sit too long in my brush, I'm gonna show you my personal little recipe for cleaning out your brushes properly. It's a natural way, not using harsh chemicals. There are other products out there that you can buy that will do the job, but I like to do things natural when and if I can. The very first thing is just rinsing your brush out in water first preferably warm water. Okay. Now I've got a few cups here. This is gonna, This is my recipe. I've got a tablespoon of baking soda, a tablespoon of dish soap, a very mild dish soap, and about a third of a cup of vinegar. I'm using more vinegar than either of the other two here. And then I've got about half a cup of warm water. So what I'm gonna do is mix them all together. I'm gonna to put my warm water right in with the dish soap. Gently mix it up. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my baking soda. I'm gonna mix that up with the paintbrush. And then I'm gonna get a larger cup. Okay, so I'm gonna put my vinegar in first. And 
So what I like to do is just pour it all in there together. Tap the brush around and you're going to want to let it sit for at least 20 minutes. I do about 20 minutes and then you're going to give it a good rinse out gently in warm water, not super hot water, just warm water. Okay, so about half an hour later, my brush is all clean. It's nice and soft again. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today and that you learned some helpful tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!